Boeing CEO Dennis Merlenberg has personally apologized to the families of victims from the Lion Air and Ethiopian Airlines crashes. The aircraft manufacturer's anti-stall system on board the 737 MAX model has been implicated in both flights, in which 342 passengers in total and crew died. Mullenberg said that the implementation of the MCAS software was not done correctly and airlines and pilots were not made fully aware of any problems until after the Lion Air crash in October last year. Well, let's hear more from his live interview with CBS Evening News. I do personally apologize to the families. We feel terrible about these accidents and uh, we, we apologize for what happened. We are, we are sorry for the loss of lives in both accidents uh, and that, that will never change. That will always be with us. I can tell you it affects me directly as a leader of this company. It's very difficult. There was uh, inaccurate uh, sensor data that came into the airplane that uh, there appears to have been a, a, a maintenance issue with that sensor. We know that the MCAS software was activated multiple times uh, during that flight and uh, in the end uh, that added to, uh, to the pilot workload. The, the implementation of that software, uh, we did not do it correctly. Uh, our engineers discovered that. So you're fixing that now? We are fixing it now, and, and our communication on that was not what it should have been. We clearly fell short, and, and the uh, implementation of this angle of attack disagree alert was a mistake, right? We, we did not implement it properly. We're confident in the fundamental safety of the airplane. Well, joining us now in the studio is Irungu Kangate. He is a member of Kenya's National Assembly and one of the lawyers for the families of the Kenyan victims of the Ethiopian Airlines Boeing crash. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, we've just been listening to the apology by Mr. Mullenberg there, uh, the Boeing CEO. Um, how do you think the victims' families are going to react to that? For me, that's positive from a moral point of view. But also from a legal point of view, for me, that is admission of liability. It makes our work easier in a court of law. Okay, so you're, you're satisfied with what he, was said, what he said there. I, you don't feel that he was being very careful with his language, legally speaking? No, for me, that is an admission. And therefore, if I see once we go to a court of law, that will be sufficient for us to prove that indeed they are admitting liability. Okay, uh, let's talk about his admission to inaccurate uh, sensor data on the airplane. Would you say that actually helps Boeing's defense, uh, the airlines as well, and, and the victims' families? Yes, the question should be who came up with that system? It is them, and therefore they are 100% culpable. So for me, that's not a good defense. It only adds to our case that indeed Boeing was responsible for what happened. Okay, um, so you're very clear on that. Um, what more do you think, though, that the victims' families uh, would want to hear from Boeing after these latest comments? Do you find what he said is sufficient, or do you feel that the families do need to hear a bit more? Of course, to a certain extent, uh, would have wanted maybe a more express admission of liability. You can see he was more nuanced. He tended to choose his words more carefully. But be that as it may for us, that may give us a better case and a stronger case when we are before the jury. And therefore, we see that the courts will give us what we call aggravated damages. For me, I wouldn't want that apology to be deemed as reducing culpability on the part of the Boeing. Saying sorry is not enough. Families lost their loved ones. So for me, for me, the, the damages still should be punitive in nature. Okay, um, and uh, how much can you tell us about what the families are going to do next in terms of mounting this case of compensation? Two things. Number one, we are busy collecting the victims who want to go to court. Currently, we have about 15 families which have expressed the intention of going to court. Fifteen, it seems very small compared to how many people, how many families were affected by the Yes, they are still continuing, they are still continuing to come to us and therefore we expect every family to join us. But we, as we speak now, 
I have seen expression of interest of about, family, about 15 families. But I have no doubt majority of them are going to join us and we continue suing the company. Uh, after that, we shall prepare the requisite documents. We may start processes here in Kenya, but that must have must. Then immediately we shall lodge cases in court. In fact, as we speak, we have some matters that are already pending in court. Okay. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, that was uh, Irungu Kangata, a member of Kenya's National Assembly and one of the lawyers for the families of the Kenyan victims of the Ethiopian Airlines Boeing crash.